Father, let me call thee Father, peace thy child returns to thee. Precious Lord, I ask for mercy, let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them, never In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang baga po sa inyong lahat, and welcome to the Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray. Direct our hearts aright, for without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, researcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn in pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of the heart and soul, O just God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Please stand. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart, 
and yield a harvest through perseverance. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not the scriptures say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees, who asked them, Why you, did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him, but this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, you are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Isokristo, halos lahat po ng pagbasa ngayong buong linggo, ay tungkol sa pagpapatuo, pagpapatutuo tungkol sa ating Panginoong Kristo na siya nga ang propeta, siya nga ang tagapagligtas, na siya nga ang ating Mesiyas, na ang ating Panginoong Kristo ay anak ng Diyos at tunay na Diyos. Yan ang sinasabi sa atin lagi ni San Juan. Subalit, iba't iba ang reaksyon ng mga tao tungkol sa ating Panginoong Kristo. Sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon, mayroong tatlong grupo ng tao o tatlong iba't ibang reactions na ating matutunghayan. Una yung reaksyon ng guard, temple guard, na sana ay aaresto sa ating Panginoong Isokristo. Pwede nating siyang sabihan na ito yung pulis ng templo na inutusan ng mga pariseyo na arestuhin ang ating Panginoong Yesus. Dahil si Yesus ay nagsasabi na siya ay kapantay ng Diyos o siya ay Diyos mismo. Si Jesus ay nagsasabi na siya ang Mesiyas. Subalit nung nakinig ang mga aaresto sa ating Panginoong Isokristo, nagbagong kalang isipan, ibang kalang expectations nung lumapit sila sa ating Panginoon. Marahil lang ina-expect lang lay isang ordinaryong tao. Subalit napakahusay magsalita ang ating Panginoong Yesus at mukhang sila'y nabighani na sila sa sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, hindi na siya inaresto. Kaya bumalik sila doon sa mga nag-utos sa kanila, nang sabi nila, yung pinapaaresto niyo sa amin, abay napakahusay magsalita. Iba ang kalang inaakala, pero nung buksan nila ang kalang tenga, mukhang nagkaroon po sila ng conversion sa kanilang kalooban. Pwede nating sabihin na yung unang reaksyon, bukas pa yung kalang tenga, marunong pang makinig. Subalit yung mga pariseyo na nagpapaaresto sa ating Panginoong Isokristo, iba ang sabi, kayo rin ba'y na-convert na? Naniniwala ba kayo sa taong yan? Ayaw nilang maniwala sa kabila ng katotohanan na napakarami ng patotoo, witnesses na nagsasabi na ang ating Panginoong Isus ang tagapagligtas ang Mesiyas. Nandiriyan yung patotoo ni Juan Bautista Nandira yan ang patutuo ng gawa ng ating Panginoong Isokristo na siya nakakagawa ng iba't ibang himala. Nagpapatutuo na siya'y galing sa Diyos. Nandiyan mismo ang tinig ng Diyos Ama 
nung siya'y binyaga na nagsabi, Ito ang aking bugtong na anak na lubos kong kinalulugdan. Nandiriyan ang sulat, banal na sulat ang scriptures. Nagpapatutuo na siya nga ang Mesiyas. Sinasabi kung paano siya ipapanganak, sa ang lugar siya ipapanganak, siya dadalhin sa Egypto, kung saan siya lalaki, kung, kung paano siya mamumuhay, kung paano tayo ililigtas. Nanduro na iba't ibang patutuo tungkol sa kanya. Pero ang mga parisayo'y nagsarado na ng puso at nagsarado na ng kalangtenga. Napakahirap mapaniwala ang isang tao kapag ka close-minded na sa kayong kanyang puso ay hardened na. Nauna na yung tinatawag nating prejudice. Nanduro na yung unang panghusga. So sa taong sarado ang mata, bulag, nagbubulag-bulagan, napakahirap pong magpaliwanag. Kahit pa maraming patotoo, ay ayaw nilang maniwala. Ang sabi nila, meron bang propeta na manggagaling sa Galilea? Mukhang minamata pa nila ang pinanggalingang lugar ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Pero meron isang uh, kasamahan nila, pangatlong nagbigay ng reaksyon, si Nicodemus. Ang sabi ni Nicodemus ay ganito, bago natin hatula ng isang tao, di ba't nakalagay sa batas? Dapat muna nating pakinggan ang kanyang sinasabi. We must also know the facts. Bago nating hatula ng ating kapwa, alamin muna natin ang iba't ibang katotohanan, anong circumstances. Kasamahan nila ito, pero itong taong ito, si Nicodemus, ay mukhang bukas ang tenga at bukas ang puso. At napakatapang ni Nicodemus, sapagkat yung kanyang mga kasamahan lahat sila, ay nagkaisa na na si Jesus ay hindi propeta, na si Jesus ay hindi Mesiyas, na si Jesus ay hindi ang Panginoong Diyos. Meron na silang unang paghatol kahit hindi pala napapakinggan ang tinig ng Panginoon, kahit di pala inaalam kung sino si Kristo. Pero merong isang tinig, no? tinig ni Nicodemus na sumasalungat sa majority. Tinatawag nating herd mentality. At napakahirap ng ganong bagay, kailangan mo talaga ng tapang. Pero kung titignan po natin, sa buhay natin, from time to time, minsan kailangan natin ng tao na salungat sa ating sariling opinion. Yung magtuturo na nabubulagan ka, meron kang blind spot. Yung tao na magbubukas sa ating mga mata, na magsasabi, masyado ka ng prejudice sa taong yan, Hinusgahan mo na kagad. Di po ba't kuminsang ganyan tayo? Kailangan natin ng tao na magtutuwid sa atin, katulad ni Nicodemus. Minsan ang Panginoong Diyos nagsasalita doon sa mga taong ayaw natin, doon sa mga taong kumokontra sa atin, masakit sa ating puso. Minsan talagang sa ating isipan, masakit kapag ka may kumokontra sa atin. Pero kung ating bubuksan ng ating mga mata at ating mga puso, baka siya'y katulad ni Nicodemus sa ating buhay. Gusto tayong dalhin sa ating Panginoong Yesus. Meron ka bang tao na pag mo pa lamang ay naiinis ka na? Meron ka bang tao na ayaw mong pakinggan sa iyong buhay? Bakit kaya? Baka yung tao ngayon ay ginagamit ng Panginoong Diyos para dalhin tayo sa liwanag sapagkat prejudice na tayo, meron tayong blind spot at maaring ang gusto natin ay convenient sa ating buhay. Pero kung minsan yung inconvenient sa ating buhay, di pa nagbibigay sa atin ng alternatibong pananaw upang sa ganoon ay makita natin ng mas maliwanag ang realidad sa buhay natin. Panalangin natin ang mga Nicodemus sa buhay natin. Maaring nakakasakit sila sa atin pero kung ating bubuksan ng ating sarili, baka, baka sila'y instrumento ng Panginoon, pang sa ganoon, mas maging malinaw ang katotohanan na hinaharap natin sa buhay nito. Please all stand. As we recall the rejection of the Savior who suffered for our sake, let us ask for the faith of the humble that we may transmit Christ's message to others through our words and deeds. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
That those in authority may be guided by the spirit of faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That courage may be given to those who spread the gospel message everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That rich nations may be generous to poor nations, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the prisoners, the elderly, and the handicapped may be strengthened by God's consoling words. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the promised everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The silence of our hearts. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Father of all, you sent your only Son to draw, to draw us closer to you. Guide us in our mission to spread our faith throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with this oblation you receive from our hands, and even when our wills are defiant, Constrain them mercifully to turn to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
please me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May call it therefore these gifts of pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, we have pleased it throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words the Lord Jesus Christ taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. 
The schedule of masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawa Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during the Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and the Mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or FB page or FB page Minor Basilica Manawag Official. Thank you. Please stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica and Parish for Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa inyong pong pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace, that helped by the consolations of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.